felt I had PTSD. Okay. So I think what we want to be doing right now is just walking around and picking up like every single quest. I think that's the next the next big step. What's the best way to do that? Probably from here. There's a stronghold there. Okay. Server's not down. Uh, well, I finished crashing them. So. No, we're, we're, we're done. Okay. Um. Man, I got pretty good armor right now. We can... Of course he... see how this works okay so shrines we got a shrine there and there's actually a number in this zone I'm try to do the stronghold I don't know is the stronghold a bad idea there will be like a boss at the end maybe the stronghold is a bad idea right now Am I even still getting crude gems? I try an event. What event is this? Wave of darkness. Okay. Did, did I get killed by one of these mobs in this event? from uptime would be a little bit better. But I guess I have no CDR right now. And not much lucky hit to scale the decrep procs. And pack size will be a little bit higher in the next difficulty, so... Triple multiplicative effects working against me right now, so that's fine, I guess. Okay. I literally didn't get hit there. Fine, let's port back. Oh, that is a sacred. Sacred one-hander. Is it good? Eh, it's not too bad. This must have belonged. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Should I get? Yeah, these mobs aren't hitting that hard, but maybe I should skip the stronghold until I get like an actual two-hander. At least do a little bit of damage. Yeah, maybe I should.
So that's the PvP zone, but I think it reveals like the whole zone if I just clip into it for a second. Well, not quite. Still a pretty solid reveal. Let me try to remember which stronghold this is. champions. Yeah, maybe this is a bad idea. I will do it a little bit later. Why is potion capacity the best stat? Since when is potion capacity the best stat? Sorry, I was I was not made aware of this. At fifty three, we can gamba sacred gear, so that should be pretty helpful. Probably not going to find a weapon because I don't think I want to be gambling weapons, but otherwise, actually, yeah, let's do, let's do this little shrine, because I might not come back there. all your altars and it was really annoying. Yeah, I thought it was. The hell did I think? I feel like I've been through the entire thing. Is it like in this nook or something? Maybe the next? Why don't they just give you a smaller area? It's not like fun just wandering around aimlessly. Uh, this isn't exactly the same as the full summoner build, but the core is pretty similar. Dude, what a what a bullshit quest. I just finished exploring the entire area. What is this? Oh, you have to click on the corpse. Amazing. Okay. Let's go get those two quests, and I think there's a Lilith shrine up there as well. His abilities here. Oh, this is a town without a waypoint. I see. They have to be avenged. I can still fight. Mongrel flesh. All 
Alright, slay cannibals, we could do that. Yeah, I got the altar. I have, uh, I have like a map for all the altars, so I'm not gonna miss them. there. Search for barbarians, okay. A lot of affixes they need to remove. What do you mean? Item affixes. Necromancer has like tons of worthless ones, yeah. None of the monster affixes feels dangerous as they do in D3. Yeah, that's probably because you're playing a character with permanent unstoppable. They're either going to nerf the crap out of permanent unstoppable, or they're going to change the affixes individually. For a short-term fix, you have a pretty good idea what I think they're going to pick. Yeah, you, can, you can dash to break objects. Search for the missing crane tribe barbarians. Okay. There's no waypoint there. I was gonna TP to town. Yeah. Very hard time, not quite permanent. Right. That. If they would scale side quest experience with difficulty, that might actually encourage people to play on higher difficulties. It seems we've lost. Meet me at the burial grounds of our ancestors. We will return. But as it stands, eh, not really. So far, I'm one sacred item in right now. Crazy how it's so low. Um, we got a map reveal, so it's fine. Slay everything for a measly event? Yeah, I don't think so. Slay spiders to draw out the brood mother. That we can do. I think the spiders actually give pretty damn good experience. Gotta get used to this play style. Gotta make sure everything is decrept, and I have to try to 
corpse tendrils as early as possible. but we have one above, so I think we just walk there. I have some quests. I think we're gonna go to the town first. And try to explore the rest. Okay, that is not it. The next thing is also not it. The town is like it's like there. Hit that with. doing uh, tree quests if we can. Maybe we do Whispering Vault actually. You've been telling, give people the XP. And uh, make him listen. Oh God. There are so many. Okay, moving on up then. Okay, back to this area. There is a shrine there, but I have it. Champion's Demise will eventually have something. Either a Nightmare Sigil on it, or... Um, a tree quest on it, or preferably both, really. killed Uber Lilith. I don't think they will ever do that just because minion AI. You can get minions to attack a certain area but you can't cannot get them to attack a specific target. 
So if your minions are on Lilith and she does the blood orb thingy, I don't think there's anything you could do to make her actually make that your minions actually attack it. And that honestly, if you have enough DPS, that is the only m difficult mechanic in the entire fight. Oh, thank you. Um... Minions? No, they do it with the uh, Ring of Mendel. Obviously, it's possible with Ring of Mendel. Ring of Mendel is almost the same damage as Bone Spear. Ring of Mandel is pure uh, character DPS, so your minions are just there proccing it. Or delivering the procs, that is. Well, they're not. Fine, let's go do the, the Whispering Vault. Like next to Kyovasab. Oh, I see. Got it. Okay. So that area up there has a little bit of action. Um, but fine. Why don't Why don't we do this first? Hardcore is different than softcore. Well, y you always need a way to use Blood Mist when you're playing hardcore. Holy crap, that's really terrifying. Bro. Also, I think until I actually have sacred gear, I have zero sacred gear. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many, they block the fucking path. Yeah, and my shield procced too. It's also really bad. Fifty-three. Yeah, I should go gamba a little. Let's let's try the dungeon and see how it goes. seen a mob yet. Of course, two poisonous rares. So one is poison clouds, one is poison explode. Okay, good to know.
Babe. Oh, I've done this. Okay. I've done something similar. A huge zone. The quest thing. Oh, okay, good. I say the quest thing seems to be on this level, but I'm really not sure. there was a way for me to actually track the damn quest that I'm trying to do. Or did I just complete it? I don't even know. Sacred white pants, non-sacred weapon. I guess it doesn't really matter. Wouldn't really use a focus anyway. It rerolls, so it's not a great item to go find an item. Let's get a sacred item. Yeah, let's go. 
got like no stats basically. 677 is a pretty high item level though. Glyph, one blue item, bro. That is very rough. And a 707 wand. Oh my god. So I did that and found no items that I could use, really. Nice. Oh yeah, almost everyone is playing Mendeln builds with Bone Prison because it's bugged. All right, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Thirty-nine ossified. This thing's bugged too, by the way. It's a multiplier, but it shouldn't be. It'll just be flat crit damage. 707 wand. I think I'm just gonna salvage all of that, really. Uh, yeah, I think we're going up there. Do we have another? That's fractured peaks. I don't think it can be more than one per zone. So yeah, that's fine. but okay. don't do very well when stuff's running around a whole bunch. Heal for seven. Okay, the shrine is like there. I'm gonna try to 
complete whatever it is I'm supposed to do here. I guess not. Oh, they're the same? No, they're two bracelets of different kinds. Okay, sure. Did half the items I found sacred have been white? What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, jeez. That's what it is. Bone Storm. Uh, it's really good. I don't know. Bone Storm is just such a crazy ability. I mean, I have no cooldown reduction right now, so it doesn't seem that good. Also, these mobs are like running all over the place, and they're dying fairly quickly when my mobs engage again. It's probably gonna make it not seem very good. Yeah, the, the uptime is normally quite a lot higher than it first seems here. burning dudes, I guess. Sure. I mean, that's barely more efficient, but okay. if I upgrade it, so I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that. Why are these guys red? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we got a long way for that one. Siphon. These guys are all cannibals. That works.
of a bizarre little nook. Okay. I do have the rest done there. Starting to get some four statted items at least. So that I may hold you again. Okay, so that is pretty much done. Let's travel there to complete that. I think I'm salvaging my entire inventory. Those guys killed you so much, you <laughs> switched the druid and core. Uh, yeah. I think I'll keep the ossified essence. But not really anything else. Let me actually salvage first. One silver for the entire salvage, dang. the logo. It's poor visibility now because of Twitch enforced circular border. Circular border? When did that start? I didn't know that. guys here. Try to do that quest dungeon. Wait a second. Oh, I have the shrink. So I just want to track this to make sure I'm not in there any longer than I need to be. Yeah, this is a small one. That's good. in 12 minutes if I want to do it. Honestly, I don't really want to do it. 
there's probably not a lot of 53 characters without max renown at this point that um, have literally zero sacred gear, so... I kind of have to recognize that my character is quite weak for a bit here until I get the gear fixed. Is Bone Stir not that good anymore for pet build? No, it's great. I just don't really want to use it. I wanted to go a bit more pure summoner. Bone Stir is kind of a slippery slope to just not really playing minions. <laughs> yeah. Cordragon. Champion's Demise. That's also Dry Steps. Well, we have some quest stuff there. Hidden Overlook. I guess we can go to Hidden Overlook. Yeah, I guess we can. Hidden Overlook and down. Oh, actually, that is a stronghold area. Again, I don't know if it's the best idea to do that right now. I think that is a stronghold. That quest happens in the stronghold. Mm. Let's go back to Ked and head south. I think that's probably a best best bet here. Yeah, but that again, kind of, I want to be doing the stronghold. some non-stronghold related quests happening here. So we can do that. there. Double sequential corpse explode, nice. Summoning skill damage is a decent stat, actually. Sacred item. 
Maybe... <laughs> These items gotta get good. What the hell is this? There was a quest there. Could you get Diablo drops too right now? What class is last? Forgotten depths. I gotta go around. Like, what class are the D4 drops right now? Barb? Ah, uh, I see. Pushing four, eight, five, a hundred, just play till I die. Well, uh, should being eventually a hundred, I guess. I think once we get, like, level appropriate gear, we get the renown check done, and, like, a glyph or two that we actually want to use in a meaningful way. Yeah, I think it's go time. Cellar should be fine. I could have sworn. I understand now. World boss for gem sockets. Man, I'm level 53 and I'm not using a single piece of sacred gear right now, so. I just don't think that's a great idea. Uh, 
Oh, fine. Let's go up there. There's like a shrine there. Uh, actually, let's go up. Right now I'm trying to get my last zone done for Renown. So the experience is going to be pretty horrendous because quests don't even scale with difficulty in terms of their experience rewards. things I need to be doing is the, the full map reveal as well, so that's fine. Yeah. That should have revealed, but it should reveal from down there regardless, so let's just go down. Shrine's gonna be like there. But let's do this first quest here. Big bone spear. Um. So right now, all the best uh, necromancer builds uh, are based off of bugs. And minions, pure minions, not Mendel. Uh, from trail mark. Uh, yeah, pure minions don't really have any kind of beneficial bugs. All the bugs are kind of pushing the builds down. Is Bone Zone a bug build? Uh, bone Prison is bugged. Bone Prison has a minimum of 1000% lucky hit. Because it procs every single hit uh, Ring of Mendel, which is 10% on a lucky hit. So the only way it could do that is if it had at least 1000% lucky hit. So yes, I do believe that is quite clearly a bug. Why does that one not count? Quest bugged. Oh, tag just spawned? Yeah, I don't know if I want to do health tag right now. Maybe I should just be a bit careful. <laughs> 